16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM. Which amount of RAM is ideal for me? Let's talk. When you are buying a laptop, you should be aware that if you want to do some certain things, uh, you may be in trouble with some hardware limitations or some bottlenecks on your laptop. Like what? Like the CPU, GPU or RAM. In this video, we're going to talk about RAM. But in the next videos, we're going to talk about CPU and GPU. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss our next videos. Here for the test, we have Legion Pro 5 uh, 2024 with Intel 14th Gen Core i7 processor. Uh, we reviewed this model and I will put a link in below this video in the description to the review video. And uh, I think you should check that video out because uh, this laptop is a beast and it is one of the best options to buy in the market so what is the difference between 16 gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of ram with 32 gigabytes you will get more space uh, for your applications for your files to work properly and uh, you will get better performance in some heavy applications or even games and when you are upgrading your RAM to 32 gigawatts. But in almost any game, uh, you will get enough amount of RAM uh, with 16 gigabytes and the 32 gigabytes models are usually used by content creators or 3D modelers or something like that. And because of that, uh, you will see some interesting results in our benchmarks. So let's get to the benchmarks. Uh, in Cinemage R23, uh, we got uh, almost the same uh, score for uh, single threaded performance and multi-core performance. We gained almost 4 to 5% improvements. It's not that much. Uh, in Cinemage 2024, the uh, scores are uh, still the same almost. Uh, we gained uh, almost 5% better results. But in the Geekbench 6, uh, we got more than 25% improvement, which is interesting because Geekbench is almost accurate and uh, we got interesting results. Uh, more than 3000 difference uh, between two scores, uh, which is interesting. And for the next test, uh, we ran Time Spy on uh, both situations with 16 and 32 gigabytes. In both situations, we got almost identical scores. But uh, one interesting thing to say is that in Time Spy CPU results, uh, we got almost 20% improvement which is interesting to see why because cpu can work freely and better when you give it more amount of ram and for the content creation workloads uh, we tested adobe premiere in this machine and when, when we had 16 gigabytes of ram we got almost 15% uh, better performance and better render time in premiere uh, when we upgrade our uh, ram to 32 gigabytes uh, with 4 minutes and 40 seconds render time which is interesting to see in adobe after effects uh, we get from 8 minutes and 20 seconds to 5 minutes and 24 seconds which is insane it is almost 30 to 40 percent better improvement and i think if you want to use your laptop or computer as a content creation workstation you gotta use the 32 gigabytes model uh, in games uh, we tested cyberpunk 2077 uh, in presets ray tracing ultra preset ray tracing ultra plus frame generation in preset ultra without ray tracing and uh, one more uh, situation without any help from ai and just to see how it can perform uh, without any help from dlss fsr or something like that and in all these situations, uh, we got almost identical uh, scores and uh, it was as good as uh, 16 gigabytes, uh, which is interesting because uh, <laughs> we got good GPU and good CPU and 16 gigabytes is enough for this game. And in Rainbow Six Siege, we got almost identical uh, scores too. There was at most 5% difference uh, between these two models and i think 16 gigabytes is enough for gaming uh, almost any game uh, but if you uh, test uh, something like apex legends you can see that uh, the more amount of ram can help the gpu and the cpu especially in lowest quality settings or uh, when you are depending your GPU intensive games to play better on the CPU side, which means lower your graphics to gain better frame rates. But if you want to use your device and 
played on the highest preset available and uh, that 16 gigabytes of ram is almost enough for you we also tested valorant on this machine and in valorant 2 uh we got almost identical because valorant is not that heavy and will work just fine with 16 gigabytes of ram we also tested shadow of the tomb raider on this machine and we got almost 10 percent better improvements which means um in almost any game you will not gain uh, that much of a performance improvement but the upgrade from 16 to 32 gigabytes is just as cheap as doing nothing it's like 50 bucks upgrade and for 50 dollar 50 us dollar um i think you should do the upgrade and be happy with your laptop uh, what do you think about these scores tell us in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe bye